just a heads up for everybody uh this is going to be a very poorly made video uh it's going to be very poorly planned very poorly executed and probably very poorly presented and that's because i have to put a video out every week and <laughs> So as we come to the end of 2019, in the end of a decade in fact, I decided it would be a pretty good way to end off this decade by sort of just looking back at this year and sort of the best and worst videos that I put out there this year, because we had a pretty good couple of months actually. We finally managed to get a consistent upload schedule once a week, every Friday, and just sort of happened. I didn't even plan it, so I think that's a pretty monumental step for this channel and uh... So yeah, top 5 best and worst Sir Chancelot videos from me, and according to you too. Uh, it's gonna be like a little bit of a watch mojo uh, thing, kind of like kind of like YouTube Rewind. Is anyone? I don't think anyone's made that connection yet. YouTube Rewind and Watch Mojo. I should I should post that on Reddit. So the number five worst video from Sir Chancelot this year, uh, I would have to say would be the Gamer Bee Chronicles. I mean, what else is there to say about that video, really? It's just 10 seconds of unused footage, and I mean, it only ever saw the light of day because I was too lazy to record anything else. And number five for best video from Sir Chancelot 2019 is gonna be the film adaptation tier list. Now this is a sort of lesser talked about video, but it's one of my favorites that I did this year. I did this one a bit earlier this year. In fact, this is probably, so yeah, it's, it's one of the older ones on this list for this year. Tier lists were pretty topical at the time, uh, and I think I did a pretty original take on that. It was one of the few videos that I just did by myself, purely, uh, just sat down, did it, recorded it, and you know, I thought it went, uh, pretty well. So, it's gonna give me my number five, number five on my list, yeah. Coming in at number four for worse Sir Chancelot video is going to be Fixing Bad Shirts in Photoshop, the original one, not Fixing More Bad Shirts, even though that one also wasn't the greatest, but the thing about that first one was there were so many shirts that I had to cut from editing because I realized that the video was going to be like half an hour long if I did all of them. There was supposed to be a bit where I was I would add like a, one of the bad shirts that I owned and I would w put that on, and I did that, but I didn't acknowledge it and it kind of didn't make sense, and it kind of just fell apart in the editing because there's just so much and it was not that good. And also, that was the first video I did uh, up against this backdrop. It's not a backdrop, it's, it's just a wall. I just wish I could redo that one. It was just too early in the weekly upload thing. It just wasn't polished, too much got cut, but I liked the concept, I liked the jokes, it just wasn't executed very well. And that is why I made the second one, and maybe there'll be a third one. My number four pick for best Sir Chancelot video is going to be rigging a personality quiz. This is the first and only video I've ever made that really made me feel like a real tuber, you know? There was a good concept, I spent hours making the quiz, and there was 90 minutes of footage. It was very different, and I was curious to see what the reception would be, and it was overall, it went pretty well. It got decent views. It actually got really good views, and it got really good feedback. Mainly the reason it got on this list is because of how much just time and effort I put into editing. And I mean, it legitimately took an actual month. I mean, I, I spent every single day I put a little bit in. There's an hour and a half of footage, got down to 15 minutes. That is impressive. <sighs> Number three is The Incredible World of Dr. Swirl Tromg 001. This made it on there because for several reasons. I've since privated that video. I wanted to bring that up here. I promised myself I wasn't going to take down any more videos, but I realized that uh, it definitely needed to be done. Uh, I wanted to, I want to just address the fact I have taken it down. I don't want there to be any more just sort of sneaking back, taking down old videos. Uh, especially once weekly uploads have started, because that's sort of a gap. Uh, so it's technically, if you look back on the timeline, it's no longer weekly uploads. There's one missing. So it sort of stains the timeline, but, uh, it was a poorly made video, uh, it suffered from the same things that the Photoshop one did, uh, fell apart in editing, 
I didn't give myself enough time to edit that one, I remember. It was uh, Thursday night, I was just scrambling to edit it, I just threw it in, I uh, just pushed some buttons, tapped, tapped my Fitbit a little bit, pushed a couple buttons on my Fitbit, just uh, threw a couple things in and uploaded it. It's a poorly made video, it actually borders cringe in my opinion, re-watching it. But the main reason I took it down was because I was reviewing uh, the channel. I was looking back recently to see uh, if the if the series was even effective, you know. So I was looking back and I saw a couple things. Uh, it's just stuff I don't have a problem with, but I don't want to be directing my uh, fans, even some younger fans, uh, towards. And, you know, I just don't want that image of myself just uh, doing a thumbs up type thing towards that. But again, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but uh, that's the main reason why I took that video down. Number three best Sir Chancelot video is definitely How to Make a Mexican Burger featuring Google Translate. Everything about the video is just Sir Chancelot at its finest, you know. Emery had his personality fully on display. I got full reigns with the editing. I highly recommend you guys check it out. Uh, there are subtitles in English and in Spanish. No, that's not true. I put subtitles in English, so even if you don't speak Spanish, you can still get a couple of chuckles out of the video. I highly recommend it, it's one of my favorites of all time, and the only reason it's number three is because we did some, some other good stuff this year. It was a pretty good year, actually. Number two worst video, we're getting down to it. It's gonna be improvisational underscore comedy dot mp4. I actually updated the title, it used to say, uh, vertical video. Uh, now it says, shot specially in 9x16. The reason this is on here is because it, uh, stains the comedy.mp4, uh, series. Just considering the other two are so solid, and this one is just a vertical video. It was completely spontaneous, uh, Emery just pulled out his phone, started filming, so did Max, so did Connor. Uh, it, it was just really, it was just, we were mid-conversation, and then just everyone started filming, we are like, okay, I guess we're doing this. And then I just took the footage and uploaded it. It just kind of stains the series. It's not very good. And that that's about it. Number two best video. The Don't Do Drugs Rap 4K Digitally Remastered. I mean, I don't even have to say anything else. It's, it's the perfect video. We added the skits at the beginning and the end. We remastered the audio. We remastered the instrumental. Uh, shout out to ya boy Muo6. Muo6. Respond to my DMs, please. And I don't even need to say anything else. It's the Don't Do Drugs Rap remaster, two years later. All right, guys, the worst video of 2019 is definitely gonna be SpongeBob Wanna See Me Do It Again, But He's Morbidly Obese. It is the worst video I've ever made. And I mean, it's funny. But also, the only reason it exists is because I needed a video for that week and I was too lazy to make anything else. The video is 10 minutes, it took me 5 minutes to make. I uploaded it and did it. It was done in like 10 minutes. It is the lowest quality video I've ever made. And it was, it was just awful. <laughs> now the number one best video of 2019. It's gotta be conformativecomedy.mp4. The best part about it is just that it shouldn't exist, because it was filmed the same day that we filmed the personality quiz and the Halloween special, and um, as Connor was leaving, that's why we were all outside, we were all outside because Connor was leaving, we were walking him out to his car, and as we were leaving I was like, oh, we should film that thing I mentioned about the comedy, and we were like, uh, and Con Connor was like it trying to get in his car as we started filming it, and <laughs> the best part about it is that that like halfway through the video Connor leaves and that's why Emery isn't in a couple of the shots because he has to start holding the camera because Connor just left in the middle of filming and also that was the video I sort of went full force with editing just because I sort of I decided to sort of relearn a bunch of stuff and that was the video I sort of just experimented on and you can see I added some cinematic filters black bars uh, sort of zooming text, I sort of messed around with the time stuff, and it actually looked, it looks really good, and I'm actually really proud of it. So just all of that combined is definitely number one Sir Chancelot, uh. But at the end of the day, I'm just the guy in front of the camera, and the real valued opinions are the people that watch the content. 
I got it. I got it. So I went out on social media, uh, asked a bunch of people, what was your favorite and least favorite Sir Chancellor video of 2019? Here are your best answers. Two separate people said there were no bad videos and they were all their favorites. They get plus five Sir Chancellor points, or SCP. Someone said how to make ramen for their favorite and least favorite, which despite coming from a couple years off, is pretty accurate, actually. So they get zero SCP. Uh, sorry. Ooh, fellow social media influencer Derek Leepic replied, uh, by saying, the intro video was the only good one. He gets minus 100 Sir Chancellor points. Very uncool. One person said the SpongeBob meme was their favorite, which is actually very depressing considering it took me five minutes to make versus the month it took for the personality quiz. But yeah, yeah, SpongeBob funny, SpongeBob funny, very cool. One person just said cringe, which could be directed towards me, but I'm gonna interpret it as the conformative comedy, which uh, is the correct answer. Very good job, everybody. Good job, good job. Connor's friend did reply, and she's gonna get plus 10 Sir Chancellor points for answering correctly, but she's also gonna get minus 15 points for being female, and as we all know, the Sir Chancellor channel only gets 100% male viewership. That's a real thing that showed up on my analytics, and I'm fairly sure it's not correct, but also, it is in YouTube's analytics, so... Very cool. <laughs> Now that you've heard from the audience, I want to take a minute and sort of hear what the cast and crew had to say about this stuff. Adam said the best was the Don't Do Drugs remaster, which I just want to say, he doesn't get enough credit, but he came up with like a lot of that video. All of the Skyrim stuff, and a couple of the stuff with the police. Because the only thing I had planned was just, hey, let's redo the Don't Do Drugs rap. And he was like, hey, let's do a bunch of other stuff too. So I just want to say shout out to Adam uh, for... I don't know. <laughs> and he said the worst video was the Six Idiots Finding Alexa, which I like. It was just sort of a collection of leftover stuff, but it was also, I, I liked it. I don't, I don't, I think that's very, cr I think that's very uncool. Connor incorrectly said the Anthony Fantano parody, which is not the best at all. It's probably, I was pretty close to putting it in the worst category, actually. <laughs> but then he changed it to the Greg Sestero video, which I definitely agree. Uh, the only reason it didn't get put on there was just because there were so many other stuff, but that was probably definitely top 10 material. And then he also said the worst was the six idiots, so I don't, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's just because they assumed those videos would never see the light of day. Amory correctly said the worst was the Spongebob one, and he said the best was the Halloween special and the Don't Do Drugs Rap remaster. I mean, the Halloween special was good, but it wasn't great. And you, you know what they say, you don't want to be good but great. That was a funny thing that was funny. And then Max finally came in, the voice of reason with the correct answer. The favorite was what Google doesn't want you to know, which was good. The least favorite was <laughs> The Walking Dead season two, no going back, full episode stream. <laughs> and that that is the correct answer. Thank you, Max, you have won. Excuse me while I delete some videos real quick. So, uh, I'm looking back at my notes here, and, uh, I made a- I made a little big note at the bottom that says, End the video so I don't spend the rest of the week editing. And unfortunately, uh, I think that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> Uh, like I said, this is gonna be a really bad video, and if you're still watching this, that means you're one of five people. So, uh, sorry. <laughs> that, that's, that's the best way I can end this video. Sorry that you're still here. <laughs> I was just gonna do another really bad video, but I've done so many of those, and I haven't done- I have not done a video standing against this wall in, like, two months. And while this was sort of a look back on 2019, the year is not over yet, uh, so you can expect a couple more videos this week, uh, next week, and the week after that. Uh, we've got big plans, uh, believe it or not, we have actually been working on stuff, and I don't know if you've been able to notice, but uh, hopefully the video quality is a bit better. I don't want to get too specific on the stuff we're working on, because I want it to be a surprise for you guys, but let's just say that, uh, 
No, I don't want to say anything, actually. I'm sorry you had to watch this. Goodbye. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life! Ugh! Get it away from me!